Hello, this afternoon's higher level Leaving Cert Applied Maths paper was one of the nicest in many years. Um, with the reduced number of questions that had to be done, 5 out of 10, and the same amount of time, students should have found uh, very easily 5 questions that they would have been able to do. Um, this is the last year, interestingly enough, this is the last year of 45 years of exams on the current syllabus, which is now finishing. Next year's exams will be both different in content and in style. Um, and this year's paper was one of the easiest okay, of the, the 45 years, 45 years of exams that we have on this. Um, there were no real tricks, there were no real crossovers. Um, questions were very familiar. Clearly it was decided to go out with the, the current style exam, to go out with a whimper rather than a bang. Just to go, run down through the, the questions here quickly. Question one, um, very straightforward. Question two, straightforward. One possible slight issue with question two part, part A um, would have been that in the intercept question, it might have been a good idea to use relative velocity rather than trying to use the T method, which some students use. Um, question three then on projectiles was absolutely uh, standard material coming, coming up year after year after year. And question four on dynamics which is also known as pulleys and wedges, um, was probably the easiest question on that topic ever. So no issues there. And the same idea could carry forward then into the collisions questions. Um, the A part of the collisions question was a single direct collision involving, as so many of these A parts do, kinetic energy. And the B part involved the idea of um, angle of deflection, which has been a really common theme through questions through the late teens and then into the current into the twenties. One slight issue um, in question six would have been the uh, simple harmonic motion part using uh, differential equations there. But again, that's standard fare for simple harmonic motions. No questions then. Question seven, question eight on statics and on uh, moments of inertia. Absolutely fine. No real d big deals either. And again, on um, hydrostatics, perfectly normal question there. Question 10 on differential equations. There was one potential pitfall in the beginning of question 10b, where you could have written an easily the wrong equation, but the solution was given in the question, so that should have provided a safety net for people. But all in all, it was a, a really, really wonderful paper. And for those of you for whom that was the last exam, okay, all I can say to you is I hope, I hope you enjoyed the paper. I hope it went well, and I hope you now have a great summer.